Good morning. I'm so excited. Things are happening. Okay, so Mark and I, Mark Cooper that is, and I, my brother, the house that I stay at now, <laughs> had a nice little chit chat about his goals, my goals. Come to find out, a lot of our goals are the same. So, this is what I'm gonna do about that. Since he's into real estate, I am gonna get a house for all my babies. Yes, I am. I am. I really am. Because, see, that was one of his goals, too, to, you know, uh, help people that needed help, you know? So I was telling him about my goal for the babies and for the animals and for um, people that have been, like, you know, uh, okay, Max, thanks, um, abused. So... Well, like, originally my idea when I first moved to San Jose and I found out that they had sex clubs was to start one since I had been raped and then I needed to learn how to trust again, you know, because it don't come easy. <laughs> it took me five years to stop hating men and they're dummied up and I'm like, okay, they all didn't rape me and beat me, just Keith. So I'll just forgive him and get over it and life goes on. But... In the process of hating men, I met a whole lot of call girls, madams, uh, ladies of the night, but they come out during the day now, <laughs> and get paid billions of dollars for it, you know? So in the process of learning from them, uh, things, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So I then wanted to open up something for men, since I was seeing men being more abused than women yeah for real in california yes more men get abused by women than women by men so anyway on one side of the huge warehouse that i this close to getting wrong zone and i could have lied and got it anyway but i'm not gonna lie about that so i mean that's too big to be going to jail for you know so this part of the warehouse would be for the men let me see if i can get your version yeah and this part of the warehouse, I would partition off of that would be for the women, right? So then I would have, yeah, anyway, so it would be a rehabilitating thing. And I'd have a therapist over there, a therapist over there, you know, the children's center in the middle, so you can drop the kids off, you don't have to worry about the kids. I'd have a huge kitchen someplace in the middle. And so you would never have to worry about coming straight from work to the ladies' lounge. And, you know, you wouldn't have anything to worry about, just come. Sit on it, lay on the sofa. If you feel like laying down, lay down. If you feel like farting, you can fart. If you want to go talk to the counselor, you can go talk to the counselor. Da, da, da. So, anywho, uh, Mark and I talked about that last night, and I mean yesterday, and wow, it's nice to have somebody validate your dreams. I never really knew how nice that was because people generally just think I'm, you know, too big of a dreamer or. Girl, you need to get real, or you know, you're too white, or you're too this, and you're too that. Yeah, well, see, good thing I never let none of them assholes stop me, huh? Yeah, for real, for real, because Mark and I are doing a damn thing. Yeah, I'm gonna get my nice little house. And then another thing for all you low cost, low income people like me out there, another uh, fantasy I had, uh, dream I had, is to um, get an acre of land. Operator? No, it's not. I believe you misdialed. Thank you. Um, is to get a lot of land. And back in, when did I meet Dave? Uh, seven, uh, 2006. Okay, I checked it out. In um, Salinas, California. Not Salinas. A little bit further than Salinas. I can't think of the name of the city. Anyway, um, two acres of land I was going to get. Have the guy put the PG&E wiring, cables, the water, the blah, 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 blah as much as possible without disturbing the animals because that's obviously not my mission in life either go uproot them and you know from their house that's the problems we're having now with cougars in people's backyards eating their babies so you know um for and anyway so the whole and i was going to get five mobile homes 
for like a thousand dollars because dude was gonna hook me up with this deal he needed to get rid of his like 50 year old mobile homes that were only like you know 5,000 square feet or something like that so I'll be like okay if we make a package deal and then I hook you up with this guy that has this property and you guys could do business together see that's what I do I hook up people with people so y'all could do business together make money off of each other right or barter whatever so he was gonna give me that whole lot of land with the equipment da -da 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 -da, for like two thousand dollars a month now you do the math I w I'm only charging you a uh, husband wife family whatever uh, let's see 900 a month okay times five mobile homes that's four thousand five hundred dollars minus my two thousand for my monthly payment I would still be making two two thousand five hundred dollars a month on just doing nothing Nothing. I buck it, you know. So anyway, Mark's gonna help me do that. Thank God. I tell you, it's so. Not, that's why I'm so hyper. I haven't had any coffee and I haven't had an excedrin. It is so nice to have somebody believe in your dream with you. This is such a wonderful feeling, you know. And and uh, Casey's he's all well. I don't understand it all. Explain it to me tonight. I have to go take this um, test real quick. So anyway. Yeah, and I can't wait. And because I told Mark, I said, you know, there's lots of you know kids out there. Their parents just don't understand them. I'm not trying to alienate you from your parents. I would like to get some you know good counselors in there so your parents can hopefully understand what you're going through if they're able to do that. If not, hey, you got a safe place. Well, a safe place is already uh, used, but we could call it something like that, you know, a cool place to be. Yeah, we'll call it that. So you come on over to Tasha's, a cool place to be, and your boys and girls have your room, but you got to keep the house clean. We ain't hire no maids and stuff. Y'all got to do your chores, keep the house clean. You know, I'll keep the refrigerator stocked with whatever you want. You got to get a paper route or something because you got to give back. You don't just take, take, take. You got to give back. Yeah, it ain't nothing free. Okay, I mean, I got the place, you know, I got the food, you know, y'all you, got to chip on PG&E, cable, stuff, yeah, you know, um, and then what else, the third thing, okay, that was, yeah, okay, that's the three things, pretty much, so, you guys, call Mark, get your houses back, there's, there's always tons of ways that you just can't see because you're frustrated, so call Mark, what's Mark's number, I'll put it over there, let me see if I can find it fast enough, probably not, um, you know, he helped my girl over the weekend get her house reclaimed from the stupid banks. Well, you know what I mean, within reason. Uh, 408-726-5050. 408-726-5050. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so I am just so jazzed. Any ideas, input? You know, if your kid came to see me and live in a cool place, you know, what would you want them to have? even though you didn't understand why your son feels more like a girl than a son or you know whatever whatever you know we all we all need help and support however we need help and support and god sent me to help you be supportive get support find a way you know there's always a way you just can't think about it because you're just like this you got your blinders on oh how am i going to pay the pg how am i going to feed the kids how blah, 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 blah. just open up Tasha, you happen to know a store girl that'll let me, you know, put five on, you know, thirty dollars worth of groceries? Sure, and I do. Yeah, I got, I carry good credit in <laughs> all the stores in my neighborhood. Yeah. So, anywho, you know, we all just gotta work together, work together, work together. Okay, I'll be back. I gotta tell you my dream.